Hello and welcome to my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to, to merge the advanced locomotion system and the advanced jigsaw inventory system together into your own game using inheritance. It's probably the quickest way I know of to do it um, without having to pull things from both systems and putting them into your own character. So what we're going to do to start is go ahead and I have to click on this link. I have to do it from here. If I click here, it it loads advanced locomotion system three for some reason and not four. So if I go ahead and click on this, I'll create a project and we're going to call this system merge. All right, we're going to select the latest version of Unreal. All right, and we're going to put this, I don't want to put it there, I don't really have a lot of room left, so we'll put it here, and there we go. Okay. So now that that's created, we're going to also add this system, the Advanced Jigsaw Inventory System, and we're going to add this to our project as well. All right. And it looks like I can't spell. So we're going to go ahead and open System Mer and, <laughs> and get this going. All right, so now it opens up and starts off in the advanced locomotion system. As you can see, you can run around, all that stuff, rotate, and then we have the jigsaw inventory system. Now, we want to create our own game, so to start off, we're going to call this, open, start off, we're going to just, you know, create a new folder and call it my game. The next thing we need to do is get a map in there. So we're going to use the multiplayer map from the jigsaw inventory system and we're just going to copy it you get that out of the examples and we're going to paste it into the my games folder this way we have a just kind of our own sandbox map that has the elements from the inventory system already in it and we can mess with it and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and open that up save okay and you can see that here's the duplicate map now if we tried to go in and play this it's not going to work because the motion's not working it's not ALS has not implemented into it yet so what we're going to do next is we're going to copy the we're going to go back into the examples back into the multiplayer example and we're going to copy this character we don't want to just use this straight out of out of the because we're just trying to use make create our own character right but we want to have everything that that's in this and we can't inherit everything from the advanced locomotion system and the jigsaw system so what we do is we copy that and we paste it into here and we're gonna go ahead and rename this instead of that we're gonna name it my character so go ahead next and open up my character and you'll see all the stuff that's been copied over now here's why the inputs and movements don't work and you don't even need those you can delete that this if you plan on using it in your game good if not you can go ahead and delete it anyways because this is really all you need this is what's going to handle all the functions and everything all right so you save that your error compile your errors go away hit save and that's the first main step next we got to go to our we got to reparent this and we're going to reparent this with the als animan character bp which is a child of the ALS base character, but it's what contains all the it's what contains all the animations that you're looking for to add to this, and it's going to blend everything together now. So as you can see, all the is inherited blend and then it's inherited everything from that. So now we got to click on the mesh because as we noticed before, he's not moving. So now we got to open this up click on the mesh and we're going to add the animan bp and we're going to add this to the mannequin you can add it to the new animan but we're going to use the mannequin and we're going to compile that and save and now you should be able to walk around freely oh that's right so first things first when you're in your map you got to go to selected game mode and change this to your new character 
And now you can move around the map because you're using the character that we've been editing. Now there's still a few little bugs. We got to add sockets, right? And that would be nice to have those in there, right? And then you're gonna see these. Let's go ahead and get rid of these big errors first because they're not really a major thing. So if you go to the blueprints in the advanced locomotion system and then click on character logic, you're gonna see the anime BP, which is what we inherited into our my character. Now you've got this update coloring system. All this is is for debugging purposes, so you don't really need it. So we can just go ahead and get rid of it. But this is a you'll need this for other things. And you won't need this because you're not swapping the mesh. So go ahead, save that. Save that. And go ahead and play. Alright. So now we're working in there. Okay, so now those errors are gone. Okay, so now our next step. Let's go back to our game, my character. We need to make sure, if you notice, when he rotates, he, his feet aren't working with it. So you need to go back into your character, click on my character self, type in pawn, and then click on use character. You just get rid of that check mark, because ALS will take care of that. And then you'll notice now, He's going to rotate properly. So the next step we're going to do is get these big into the right socket. So what we'll do to do that is we're going to go into our Jigsaw Inventory System, Examples, Multiplayer, Character, Mannequin, Character, Mesh, and then here's the UE4 Mannequin. Now you'll notice that there's these sockets. Just go ahead and select all those and control C, copy those. Okay? Now go back to the advanced locomotion version 4 folder, go to its blueprints, back into not character logic. No, you just go into. Oh, I forgot where it was. Um, character assets, mannequin. And then ALS mannequin skin. There we are. Click on root and then just hit control V and you'll see that they just added them right there. Go ahead and hit save. You can close that. You can close all this. Then hit play. And now they're going to equip. Now there's one more major issue, right? It's all working, everything's working as intended, right? But it's not vaulting. You're not mantling things properly. And the reason for that is for collision. So what you need to do to fix that is all the things that you would be touching or holding, go ahead and you gotta go to the edit the backpack blueprint, click on viewport, click the item, and go down scroll down to collision, and then under collision presets make sure that that's on ignore and then compile save and you're going to need to do that for backpack 2 so we'll go here click on viewport click there all right and then i think there's only a few more you got to do that on the knife Right, compile, save, and then two rifles. Rifle one. Right here. Just compile, save, and rifle two. And that, I think, is all of them that you have to do that to in the demonstration. And that should fix any major glitches that are going to happen to you when you're trying to mount things or climb things in the game. Alright, so all that's saved. Go ahead and close that. 
closed. And that should be it. That should now allow you to vault without everything breaking. And everything's completely should be working. Now, some of the things, switching weapons and stuff or not, you're gonna have to re-implement that how you'd like. It's a that's another little bug. But I'm gonna go through and try and figure out how to do that with the new animation system itself through ALS and posing. So hopefully I can get another tutorial out for you soon. Thanks for watching.